This is Twit. All right. I've been, you see, this is the problem with media. You got to watch out for this, Amy. <laughs> we always want to take it down the scary path because that's more engaging. That's more yeah. interesting. So I'm going to give you a chance to cheer us all up. Give us the optimist's future. Yeah. And again, I think anybody who has spent any time with me knows that my strengths are on the dystopian risk side, not the <laughs> rainbow sunshine side. But and, um, and I hope in your work, which you you talk to very, very important people all the time, that they start to listen. I hope they're listening to you about this stuff. I hope they're reading yeah. the Genesis machine and starting to think about this stuff. Here's what I think is on the other side of this. Um, we probably are never going to align on things like climate mitigation strategies. Um, we keep having these big global meetings and like there's too many economic incentives that are out of whack. Yep. You can't force China and India to just shut down all of nope. their coal plants. Mm -hmm. There doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. So why do, you know, yes, let's keep pursuing CO2 reduction, but let's also look at CO2 as a feedstock and let's engineer some plant um, that's controllable that sucks the CO2 out of the air and like poops out for organic fertilizer. But that's not a silver bullet, but it is an approach that we could do in different places for the purpose of, you know, trying to deal with some of what's on the horizon. Clothing, um, you can already create nylon using synthetically altered materials. You know, this kind of stuff, again, if, if big retailers sort of understand what it is and they make the investments at the right time, they could continue to have fast fashion models. So the business models um, and turn around, you know, turn around clothing lines over and over again without harming the planet. Fashion is really bad for the planet. What if you, you bought super cheap clothing that was intended to expire? It came with an expiration date. You're, you wear it once or twice. You don't ever wash it. You just compost it afterwards. I know these sound like crazy harebrained ideas, but the point is that the technology exists now to start doing some of that. And if we can just unshackle ourselves from trying to rewrite the past, we can write a better future. Um, but, but we have to we have to start doing that, right? We have to, and we can start doing that by at least having a dialogue about it. So, you are right, and I hope we do, and I hope everybody listens to Amy Webb and reads the book because you know what? It's a really great read. It's a it's actually a page turner. The structure of it's really fun and it raises a lot of interesting things. And I think in a, in many ways it's it's more interesting and more fun to think about all the potentialities. And you know, if if history is any teacher in this, we'll probably do both. We'll probably do the horrific things and we'll probably do the wonderful things. And uh Let's just be ready for both. <laughs> Cause, cause, I you think know, that's wise gonna, advice. Yeah, we're going to sage gonna, advice. We're going to do them both. That's just the way humans <laughs> humans are. Uh, yeah. Really, a good book. I, it's my favorite book yet. Uh, you really did a great job. The Genesis Machine. Amy Webb, Andrew Hessel. Uh, it's from Public Affairs Books, but you can there's an there's an Audible version of this. I think yes. Oh yeah, there's Audible. Good. You can get it everywhere. And actually, I will reveal a tiny little secret. So the book has a bunch of Easter eggs in it that. Um, if you get to the end, there's a QR code. And if you scan the QR code, which I, I recognize now is like a really great way to share malware, but this is not malware, I promise. <laughs> I'm the one who made the QR code. Um, I put together a folder, like a Dropbox folder that has a ton of stuff, like a ton of stuff in it. If you're, if you actually want to go down the same rabbit hole that I did. So there's videos, that there's was, discussion guides. I, I saw that. I thought that was a really great idea. I wish everybody Yeah, I actually wanted this. to footnote it and have QR codes everywhere. And that was production wise. They didn't want to do no. that. So I put one of the There's end. also a bit.ly link. But uh, that is a really brilliant idea because I think that this will launch uh, uh, some people onto this journey of exploration and there's so much about this to learn and to and and we are i hope i'm i'm i think this is gonna you think this is gonna happen in my lifetime i got 20 years left you think i'll start to see some of this and i don't expect well, to get extended past the 20 but it, it is happening and you absolutely could be extended beyond okay. the 20 i'm, and you I'm not be. counting on that but i do want to go to singapore and have that uh, those, chick, <laughs> those chicken rings Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Thank you. Get the book. It, I highly recommend it. It's a really good read. The, the Genesis Machine, Our Quest to Rewrite Life in the Age of Synthetic Biology.